Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Hanover, New Hampshire. Hanover is a quiet town situated along the Connecticut River in Grafton County, 62 miles northwest of Concord and 6 miles north of Lebanon. As of 2019, the population was estimated to be 8,508 residents, which has dropped nearly 25% since the 2010 census. While the town offers a variety of outdoor activities including hiking, biking, and skiing, the lack of entertainment and nightlife tends to deter many young professionals and growing families. However, that's not necessarily a negative for everyone. The town's close proximity to Vermont and the surrounding areas creates a peaceful rural atmosphere. The quiet downtown area offers a selection of cafes, bars, gelato shops, and small boutiques. With a few local farms in the area, it provides residents with a great selection of fresh seasonal produce. In addition to a local co-op, which functions as the town's main grocery store besides the Norwich, Vermont farmers markets. Despite being relatively small when comparing population size, the town ranks among the largest in the state based on land area, with a total of 49 square miles, which equates to a population density of 220 people per square mile. According to the 2010 census, out of the 3,119 households, more than half were families, out of which 27.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, and 51.5% were married couples living together. Surprisingly, the largest percentage of the population was under the age of 18, with the median being 23 years. What's even more impressive is that the town's median household income is $103,558 per year, putting them well above the state average. However, considering the median home price of $700,992, earning anything less than six figures would make it nearly impossible to purchase a home. Fortunately, two of the largest companies in New Hampshire are located in and around Hanover. The first being Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center in Lebanon. Dartmouth College in Hanover. This plays a big role in the median income as well as the age demographic. As for pre-college education, SAU 70 in Hanover ranks as the best school district in the entire state, enrolling just over 1,100 students in grades 6 through 12 with a student-to-teacher ratio of 11 to 1, consisting of one middle school and one high school. According to Niche.com, they rank as the safest school district with the best teachers compared to all 83 districts in New Hampshire. It's no surprise considering the average teacher salary is a staggering $97,402. While schools are an important factor if you have children, another key metric to consider is the crime data. Hanover ranks quite well compared to the nearby city of Lebanon and the town of Hartford, with a crime index 3.9 times lower than the U.S. average. Not to mention, New Hampshire as a whole ranks as the second safest state in the U.S., just behind the neighboring state of Maine. For the most part, public transportation in New Hampshire is slim to none. However, dark Dartmouth Coach does offer a direct bus route from Lebanon to Boston for just under $40 each way. This is a great option for those flying out of Boston Logan International Airport. Or for around $80, you can catch a bus all the way down to New York City. And if you're a student in Hanover, you can even board the bus right from Dartmouth College. Established in 1769, the private Ivy League Research University is the ninth oldest institution of higher education in the U.S. However, it can be quite difficult to get into with the an acceptance rate of only 8%, combined with an undergraduate tuition and fees of nearly $58,000. With work and school aside, the extreme weather may be a sticking point for those considering Hanover as a place to call home. The obvious factor being annual snowfall. While most parts of southern New Hampshire receive around 58 to 60 inches per year, Hanover gets upwards of 68 inches, with 35.9 days of precipitation and 194 days of sunshine per year. Despite the cold temperatures and high snowfall, the town averages seven months where temperatures are above 50 degrees with summers in the 70s and 80s. And that wraps up the video guys of what to expect when living in Hanover, New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.